Well, this ancient wood, Chalkney wood in Earl's Cairn, is again an example of the continuity of English history because these trees that you see around you here in Chalkney Wood, on uh, there's a famous English historian of English woods, Oliver Rackham, who's written a book about Earl's Cone and other woods. And this is one of the most ancient woodlands in Britain. That means that it's getting on for 1500 or 1700 years old. Some of these trees are well over a thousand years old. The Romans may have planted some of them then the Anglo-Saxons maintained them, then the Normans, then the next five or six hundred years, and here they still are. Because with these kinds of trees you could cut them, coppice them as it's called, you'd cut the tree down and then new, just down to the ground level more or less, and then new trees would grow up. So it's the same tree, but 1500 years old. It's a form of agriculture where instead of digging up trees or cutting them right down, you harvest them. A very ancient form of agriculture which isn't done very much, or not agriculture, silviculture, woodland culture. And so one has a sense of 1500 years of history right back to the Romans here. Mysterious woods, the sort of thing that Kipling, the great writer, used to write about these woods where you might suddenly trip over a nymph or a fawn or an ancient, some ancient creature. These woods were once inhabited, for instance, by wild boar. The Earl of Oxford, who owned this area, used to hunt in these woods. And so the history goes right through the period which we particularly studied from the 14th to the 19th centuries.